Night Wings of an Angel. Your religion should define what you do, not what others outside your religion do. Simple as that. Just be a good human being. Interesting point on that note. I was watching a debate between Joe Biden and Paul Ryan from, like, I think 2016. No, no. It was Paul Ryan, so it must have been... It was Obama's first term, so I think it must have been 2008. Yeah. I think it was a, a debate between Biden and Paul Ryan... The VP debate from 2008. And Paul Ryan was talking about why he's pro-life and not pro-choice. He said, well, my faith, I'm a Catholic, says Paul Ryan. He said he's a Catholic. He said, my, in my faith, I believe that life starts at conception, blah, blah, blah. And Biden said, I agree. I am Catholic, too. And I follow my church's beliefs on that. Life begins at conception. But I can't force my beliefs on the Jewish people and the Muslims and every other religious group in this country. Just because I believe something doesn't mean I have the right to force my beliefs on them. I thought it was a really interesting... I mean, that's how I've always felt phys philosophically. That's how it should be. You shouldn't force your religious beliefs on people. What the fuck? Uh, but I found it fascinating that Joe Biden was espousing those views. I honestly did not expect it from him. He's actually a lot more progressive than I thought he was for a long time. I wouldn't have picked Biden if, if, if it were up to me. I would have picked Bernie Sanders, but we've got Biden. And I'm honestly not that broken up about it. It could be worse than Biden. For one thing, Biden has a drug addict for a son. That is actually important to me. It means Biden understands the issues that I have personally experienced in my life. And not only that, but Biden came out and said he was proud of his son and he loved him during the debate, despite problems with drugs. That tells me Biden really does understand this issue and really cares about people who have been through drug addiction. That was really important to me, and that, that was the moment at which I thought to myself, it would take an awful lot to make me not vote for Biden. Just that one issue alone would have had me voting for him, even if it wasn't Trump running against him.